people and welcome back. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Tia and I am currently training for a half marathon and I'm so excited to share this journey with you all. So let me give you a quick rundown. So back in January, I signed up for a half marathon and I was like, I probably should get like some more experience with running because prior to I had never ran a race. <laughs> so I signed up for my very first 5K here at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo and I had that race back in April and so I'll link that video up here above so you all can check that out so this is technically my second 5k race here at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo and I also had one 10k race that I did in downtown Cleveland so make sure you check those out but today I'm excited to run it because actually one of my favorite little people is running this race with me because she's trying out new sports. So I'm like, let's go for it. We are here, we about to have some fun with it. But the only problem is y'all, which is making me a little nervous, is I rolled my ankle back on July 4th. So I'm kind of nervous about how I'm going to perform and what's gonna happen. Like, I don't want to strain my ankle any further. I don't want to push my recovery back, but I did want to do the race because I had already signed up for it. So. We're about to see how things pan out. And this race is gonna be interesting because it is the Asian Lantern Fest. And we're running at night. So the race starts at 8.30. We'll get to run through and see everything. So I'm excited about that. And then, <laughs> funny thing is, my favorite little person is very competitive, just like myself. And so since she know my ankle is messed up, she was like, I'ma leave you because I wanna be out in front. And so I'm like, go ahead, girl, go for it. Do what you gotta do, sweetheart. Don't let nobody stop you. I will never hold you back. Never let anybody hold you back. Go out there and go for the gold. So if she leave me, I'm cool with it. If she don't, I'm good with it as well. So we are about to go grab our bibs and our t-shirts. Then we're gonna stretch. And then we are going to get this race started. So are you excited about your race? For your yes. very first race? Yes. How are you feeling? Good. Good, are you nervous? No. No? What time do you want to complete the race in? Like how many minutes do you want it to take? So if the race is like 35 minutes? On average, some people can do it in about 35 minutes. Yeah. And it's 3.1 so, miles. So probably if it's 35, the estimate time, probably 35 minutes, probably like 40 maybe or 37. Okay, so between 37 and 40 minutes, she's guesstimate she's going to complete it. And I'm rooting for her. I'm gonna try that too because y'all know my ankle messed up. <laughs> so we gonna make it happen. Just rub my ankle. Not even a mount into the race. Woo! To the point I had to literally sit down. And this lady seen me roll it. So she's about to go grab a medic for me. But I'm going to walk a little bit. But I'm hella pissed. <laughs> like so pissed. Um probably shouldn't have been running in the first place. But I felt like I rehabbed a decent amount and I was able to walk without limping but now like at this exact prison moment I'm definitely limping again <laughs> and I'm so pissed <laughs> okay. so I have made it to the halfway mark I'm doing the turnaround to get ready to go back down still in pain but I do not want to give up and I can foresee this <laughs> hindering the rest of my training program as I wanted it to be. So after this race, it'll just be like regular workouts and then um, rehabbing. So I <laughs> if I listen to my own advice, I should have turned back. I'm gonna just start there. <laughs> because I always tell y'all to listen to your body. 
don't overdo it because then at the end of the day you can probably end up injuring yourself more and the athlete in me don't want to give up right so I'm gonna just have to take the L and walk and increase my time that is inevitably going to happen at this point like I said I think I did this in 34 minutes 35 minutes the last time I did it and I'm not on par by any stretch of the means <laughs> so I'm about to try to do a light jog to back down the hill and we're gonna complete this and then it's time to rehab and no running <laughs> for a while so I feel like it's 100 percent and I have absolutely no pain on my ankle so I'm making this to the hill now and we're gonna get to it light jog light light jog damn near still walking <laughs> I lied y'all I'm back <laughs> running down this hill ain't happening it's put so much pressure on my ankle and on my left knee that it's more painful than when I'm just regularly walking so I'm gonna walk down the hill see if giving it a little bit of break a help once I get to the bottom and I'll try to do like a light jog but I think I messed up y'all <laughs> I think I messed up and it sucks oh it sucks so bad like I know injuries come with this sport and any sport but it just sucks when you were on the right track and on the right path and then the injury happened so I'm gonna keep checking in with y'all because clearly I'm walking and I got time <laughs> I'm in a home stretch but a light jog coming in I'm gonna make it it was a rough one I'm so disappointed we're gonna get it done I so love that for me because it was hard, y'all. It was so hard rolling or rolling, <laughs> running on a road ankle. And I checked my time compared to my first time. The first time I ran here at the zoo, I literally finished at 33 minutes and 41 seconds. And today, as y'all saw, unfortunately, I finished at 40 minutes and 39 seconds. But the real thing that I find interesting is my favorite little person finished the race in 33 minutes and 22 seconds. Shout out to her. Like that was so awesome. And I wish I could have crossed the finish line with her because the time that I did on the very first race, we would have been on par. Like we would have essentially finished 20 seconds faster. Ah, I, it sucks that we couldn't finish that together, but I am extremely happy for her. I am happy for myself that I completed it. Running here at the zoo was amazing. Here's a quick glimpse of some of the lights that they had displayed throughout the zoo. I would definitely recommend checking out the zoo during this time. If you have a chance, it is worth it. And it's just something different. You can learn a little bit because they do have like placard cards up to tell you about the exhibit that you're looking at. So it's definitely really neat to experience. Now it's time to rehab this ankle and I'm looking forward to my half marathon in October. So wish me luck and continue on the journey with me. I'll be posting things here and there about my workouts and my juicing. So definitely check those videos and of course any of my traveling videos. And as always gorgeous people, go out there, create memories that will last a lifetime.